juices and other juices. Fabulous. Well, for these recipes, you can, of course, go to our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. We've got your website as well as tropicana.ca on there as well. Now, Greg Harper, Lynn, is, is playing a little tennis today. So I would say that this would have been a perfect energy booster for him first thing this and morning, right? in the middle. This is great for the end of your day as well. And for him, just to rehydrate if he needs that extra energy perfect. to finish that set. Excellent. Greg, so tangy. we'll keep a smoothie on ice in here for you when you get back. Thank you. I need one. Thanks, Don. Yeah, because we've been playing tennis all morning long, and now we're doing it in this, a wheelchair. This is not easy, but this man makes it look easy. Kai Schraubmeier, formerly ranked number one in the world in wheelchair tennis. He won a silver for Germany in Barcelona, and he joins us now. Thank you so much for getting up early and joining us. No Wheelchair tennis, obviously different than able body tennis. Uh, talk about some of the differences. Basically, it's the same sport. Um, you still have your same shots, forehand, backhand, serve, volleys. The only major difference is you're allowed two bounces. But uh, that makes it so compatible with playing with friends, family at all levels. So it's a great sport to really go out there and, and hit tennis balls at all levels. But moving in the wheelchair, as I have found out here this morning, it is not easy. Can you give me a couple uh, tips on how to move? Yeah, sure. So what you want to do is um, you want to make sure that you keep your racket in your hand at all times. So you never drop the racket to be able to push faster. So your racket becomes an extension of your hand. And so you just turn wherever you need to go, give it that push with the racket in your hand, and then try to recover as quick as possible after hitting the shot. So even if your opponent lobs it over you, you're not putting your racket here never, and you're sprinting? Never, never. This is glued to your hand, yeah. You get used to being able to push with your racket in your hand. Okay. I'm ready for some balls. Here Maybe you can give me some uh, sure. pointers. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. So forehand, just nice and easy. Same shots as in regular tennis. Take that racket back and swing through it, yeah. And it's always about the right uh, position of the chair. Good. Turn sideways a bit. You're really frontal, so turn your chair a tiny little bit this way, okay. so you're lined up a little more towards the side. Yeah, there you go. And now you hit beautiful. Yeah, that's it. Not so you bad. turn your chair, take your racket head back. Let's try a let's try a backhand, Graham. All right, let's do that. So Graham Kosowski, by the way, he's he won this tournament, the Stanley Park Open, three years ago. We're gonna be talking to him next. All right, go for so it. you turn your chair sideways, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and oh, there you go, beauty. One. Hey, great. And you recover. Make sure to get back into your Starting position, yeah, get back here. How yeah. am I doing? Great, uh, beautiful. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. No worries. I'm going to work on this. This is a great workout as well. We're as I mentioned, we're talking to Graham next. We're also talking to Ryan Clark from Tennis BC. He's going to talk about the Stanley Park Open and the Vancouver Open. Last year at the Vancouver Open, a big name was there, Marcus Bagdadis. He went on to win it. Michelle, who's coming this year? Well, we're going to try and find out, find out when we talk to Ryan. Excellent. All right, Greg. All right. Thank you very Let's much. Catch this. up with you in just a little bit. And you're doing very well, by the way. Let's get right into it and see how we're doing over at the Alex Fraser. Now, off to kind of a rough start for the